Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we are here. This is going to be week three of our UBL matches, and we're going to be going up against Serene Grace. She's great. Even though this match is great, check her out below, definitely. Here we have a pretty weird matchup, but uh, Venusaur matches are pretty well. Porygon 2 is going to be super annoying. Oh, and I mean, I guess I didn't keep up too well with um, with the transactions. I had no idea that she had a Raichu on her team. So that was a thing that was not even in my head until this match starts. Either way, I think we still have the matchup. Uh, this is going to be the first time that I've seen this video um, since the battle happens so i guess we're gonna see what happens here she comes i believe i lead off with the jolteon and i believe she leads off yeah that should be the raichu so here we're in a little bit of a stalemate because uh we're both immune to each other's electric attacks so we so we both immune to volt switching so um it's gonna be a bit of a standoff i go for the shadow ball i expected her to say it i guess but uh she loses the standoff, I guess, because she vaults, which is into my Volt Absorb, and uh, gets me back that Life Orb recoil. So, not the biggest deal in the world, but now at this point, she hard switches, and I don't think I had the balls to a Volt Switch in this situation. I think I just go for another Shadow Ball, which... Uh, Oh, yeah, it, it would have gotten Volt Absorb anyway, so yeah, I do go for a Shadow Ball, so either way, I, she would have been immune to it. But that's fine. Here, I just switch out. Um... I switch out into my Greninja. Now, um, this is a Specs Greninja because Specs Greninja tore through her team. It really had an amazing matchup against her team. I really wanted it to shine in this match, and it genuinely had an opportunity to, but I just wanted to uh, get in, U-turn out, get a little bit of initiative. I thought that that would kind of force a switch because uh, Specs Hydro Pump does so much damage, and uh, she clearly didn't know that I was Specs at the time. But I guess I do pivot in, in the Delphox. I guess my thinking was that the Toxic here would be uh, too predictable, so I thought that the, um, I thought that the uh, Drapion would be coming in here. Um, and, I, and yeah, I guess I didn't even take the chance to Mega Evolve. Oh, I do, th wait, there's a switch. Does, okay, so I did call it right. Hey, look at me go. So, um, I did know that the Toxic would be way too obvious in the situation. I get my Delphox in here. Now, um, I wanted to try again that Cobra Barrier Will Wisp set because uh, Drapion is such a huge threat on its own. And here I make a huge, huge misplay. I mean, she may have uh, seen that previous battle, but uh, I go for the same shenanigans and I accidentally Will O Wisp this um, Porygon 2, which is huge because uh, this thing gets to stay on the field for so, so long. And, uh, this, and my Delphox has both Will-O-Wisp and Toxic. I wanted to get a Toxic off, I mean, obviously on this thing, but I never get the chance to after this burn. So, I try to get a little bit of a pivot option as she crits, uh, into my, my, uh, Jolteon. I kind of half expected for, um, Raichu to come in, so I double into the Piloswine, but I don't think I get it. Yeah, she just goes straight for the try attack. And I think I get paired here, which super, super sucks, okay? Um, so, I get paired quite a bit, you, you guys are gonna see. But, um, it never really matters too, too much until the very end, but uh, it puts me like a turn behind so, so long. So here I go for the Stealth Rock, she Magico, she saw that coming a mile away. That's totally fine. Um, found out uh, during team, like as I was genning these, that, uh, that, this thing doesn't learn knockoff until it becomes a mammoth swine. So that was super unfortunate for me. But either way, we're in here. I just want to get in some damage because I do have mons that can do that can deal a lot of damage to this Porygon. But at the but uh, I do need some some damage on it already. And um, so here I actually missed uh, something right here. That turn right after I went for Stealth Rocks got magic coded. Then back onto my side, I actually went for Stealth Rocks again. And, um, and uh, I got fully paired that turn. Now, I missed it. I, I guess I was looking away or something, but I assumed that I got Stealth Rocks up for, for a little while, but then, um, I realized that I didn't at some point, and that was super, super upsetting. So, I go back into this Delphox on the Recover. Uh, I don't remember exactly why I did this, but, uh... I mean, I guess we'll see. Okay, so okay, so I will try to wish up. I try to heal back some of the damage that's been that this Porygon's been spreading across my team, and just try to and kind of, I guess, show this Porygon that I that I uh, and it's not gonna be able to just sit here and six zero my team. So the first wish is for Del Fox herself. I just try to uh, fire blast, get a tiny bit of damage in as I get my health back with the wish. 
but here's where the uh, Delphox gets paralyzed. Again, it's not going to be a big deal until uh, super late in the match, but again, it, ju it just puts me a turn behind in a couple key, key turns that um, really ended up hurting me. So I do get fully paralyzed here. I don't uh, exactly remember what I went for in this turn, but again, this Porygon is just going to stay on the field. And at this point, I just switch out. I mean, in all, in, all, in all seriousness, I probably went for another wish, I would imagine, to try to pass it off into somebody. But I go into the Venusaur because I know I can synthesis off any damage from this thing. And I guess if anything gives me a chance to uh, to 1v1 this Porygon, it would be this thing until I get uh, paralyzed or burned. Um, or frozen, for that matter. Off of those tri-attacks, but... I just take the, the first turn in to just synthesis off the damage, and I'm so, so upset with myself that I can't uh, talk to this thing. And, um, it just sucks. Uh, that that will o switch in lets this thing stay on the field for a very, very long time, and I'm super, super upset about it still uh, in, at this point in the match. But finally, she does switch out, and I'm thinking... Okay, this thing's going to be a threat to the rest of my team no matter what. Um, I think I'm okay just staying in here and trying to 1v1 this thing, because because I feel like with my synthesis, I can I can 1v1 this thing. Uh, it's doing a decent amount of damage with its poison jab, but I need to not get knocked off uh, with with the with the other mods. And uh, like I said, it, it might be like not great, but I can 1v1 this thing until she reveals this dang sword stance. And I'm very, very scared. I am incredibly scared. But we're playing the long game a little bit, I guess. We just get a drain, get a little bit of HP back. I switch out. I don't remember if this is a sack or not. Yeah, no, this is definitely a sack. I mean, if she gives me like a free turn and sort of tries swords dance again, then I guess it's a, it's a, I can do something maybe. But, uh, but no, this is more or less just a sack. And, uh, yeah, I take a heck ton from the rocks and the poison jab on the switch, so realistically it doesn't do anything. 100% a sack. But this lets me go into my Specs Greninja. Now, again, I looked away because I just thought, oh, Hydropon's gonna take care of this. Um, I don't even know. I, maybe I was, like, writing something down. I don't even remember, but I assumed that this thing went for Sucker Punch, and I was like, oh no, if this thing has Sucker Punch, it just fine, it just 6 0s my team. It just d tears through the rest of my team. So I go into the only Mon that I think can take a hit, and it's uh, this Tauros. It turns out it was not Sucker Punch. Uh, I just missed a Hydro Pump. Again, I've been missing so many Hydro Pumps, but um, this Life Orb, Sheer Force Life Orb Body Slam can just deal with the dang uh Drapion. and i was so upset at that point now i do know how much this tauros can do to a porion too this is going to be if, if i do have any moment where i can 1v1 this porygon is right now if she goes for an attack right now it doesn't recover but she does she goes for the tri attack it does a decent decent amount of damage but i do more than enough then I need to two hit KO this Porygon 2. And this is where I start to see a little glimmer of light at the end of the tunnel, right? Um, as unfortunate as that Hydro Pump miss was, realistically, the same thing would have happened um, uh, had the Greninja been in there, I think, because the Grenin because judging from that um, Body Slam damage, Greninja would have also two hit KO'd with, um, with the amount of, with the amount of damage that, that Specs Greninja can put out. I think I would have been fine either way, but I would have had a full health Tauros. A full health Tauros. So I just got some damage off onto the Mew as it knocks off my life orb. And then I switch it out for fodder because I know I have this as a uh, dedicated switch in. Um, I know if it just starts to knock off, I can eat that. But here, um, I, I start to wonder if it's choice because of that switch out. So I'm kind of... Uh, I kind of don't know at this point, but um, I, I just decided to stay in and try to 1v1 this Raichu. Um, I don't know if it's just a Lolo Raichu that gets Psychic, but I don't know, maybe Cantonian Raichu also gets Psychic? I'm not sure about that. Either way, we just stay in and we can clearly 1v1 this thing. Um, I think I attacked it for some reason when I could have synthesis and been, you know, a bit of a scumbag, but I think I actually do just attack it for really no reason. I just take unnecessary damage. 
but uh, I believe I get a synthesis off later either way, so I mean, I guess... I guess I get like two points for not being a scumbag at this moment, I don't know. Either way, Mew comes back in, right? And I don't quite know what this is yet, um, but I don't want to stay in. I don't want to take the Psychic. My, um, my Delphox is the best switch in to this Mew, no matter what. And, okay, so here it goes for the Transform, and here's where I can, um, here's where I think uh, I confirm that it's Scarfed, because uh, it goes for the Wish here after, after it transforms, it gets the Scarf Transform off, and then goes for the Wish, but it continues to go for Wish, so here's where I can pretty comfortably say that it is Scarfed, and, uh, and I'm just out here trying to get my HP back, and I get paralyzed as I try to Toxic this Mew, which would have helped me out so much, because if it does get toxic then I can comfortably 1v1 it, but I can't anymore, right? So, it switches out here into the Gardevoir, and um, it does its thing, it triggers my delays, it's all good, right? Now, I believe I get fully paired again? No, okay. Here's where I finally get to toxic this thing, right? Um, so I think we can comfortably 1v1 this thing. I'm not entirely sure what it wants to do in this situation, but now that it's toxic, I do feel pretty comfortable to just go, um, for Wish to get some shenanigans off. I believe, I believe I would have gone for Wish here. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this is the turn where I definitely would have gone for a Wish, try to 1v1 it, and I get knocked off, and here's a turn where I 100% would have been able to toxic this thing. If those two pairs would have would never have happened, I would have gotten the Wish off, I would have uh, toxic and I would have had a wish up in the air as uh, I eat my Cobra Berry, eat the knockoff, and I would have been, you know, not the best position, but in an okay position, but uh, those full paras just kind of uh, definitely seal the deal here in this situation. Um, can't synchronize that toxic on me, fortunately, but that was the moment where... Um, I knew I just kind of lost because uh, definitely Tauros can't do anything. It's just uh, Death Walker on re-entry. Both of these um, remaining mods are Scarfed and they can definitely just Psychic my Venusaur. Um, I go into my Venusaur here. I think, I think I tried to just coax this thing into going for a non-Psychic move. Or no, no, no. No, I think I tried to... Yeah, no, I tried to... I tried to counter the knockoff Mew. Uh, by going into this thing and hopefully just getting a turn of damage off. Uh, somewhere, but... This thing switches in. It's able to go for Psychic. That kind of just... Um... Ruins any chance that I had left. And this is where I find out 100% that it's Scarfed. But at this point, it didn't even really matter anymore. Um... This thing could have definitely outsped my Venusaur, and uh, even if I did get the damage off with with um, Jolteon onto the Gardevoir, the Scarfed Me would have been able to come in, and especially at that range, I wouldn't have been able to do much of anything. Yeah, that's that's uh, pretty much how the match ends. So yeah, we had uh, a whole lot going against us. We had Burning the Porygon 2, which was awful. It was genuinely awful. Um, getting parried all over the place, um, definitely cutting down my speed all over the place was not, uh, great, but we could have managed it, uh, even all those full paras sprinkled around, but we could have dealt with it, but those final two paras in that final, final sequence with the Delphox against, uh, the Gardevoir and the Mew genuinely did seal the deal, I think. Um, I would have had to uh, play my ass off and uh, get myself into position to take on those final mods, but I really did feel like like we could have done that. And then, of course, that huge, huge, huge Hyper Pump miss. We had that matchup. Um, given those circumstances, I think we brought it uh, back as close as we could have. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll be once again out.